this new torch stand that I am trying out and I'm using a bench a hand torch on it and it looks like it's gonna work well for me I just got to keep trying and practice with it who knows right 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 so give me a second we still got to adjust a few things why because I can this is part of the adjustment bureau you've never seen that movie don't worry you're not missing much but I'm gonna layer this in that place put that down there on that clip like that so you can see come on you got tape in the way of course so you can see and then I'm gonna bring one for me more round but doable What did I do with them? I had a whole tub with them. Oh, here they are. Sorry about that. I had misappropriated them. That one is for me to look through. So I can see what's going on. And you look above. I guess we could do that a little. Nah, a little higher. Yeah, I can live with that. We're going to see if that works. Hello, nice to see that somebody showed up. I'm trying some a new design pattern going on. I've actually got a new torch stand. I put it on YouTube, how I built it. Well, it's actually an old monitor, TV, mo uh, computer monitor stand. Here, let me show it to you. The base was pretty cool nice and round but the coolest thing is that if I wanted to work on something really tiny I could bend it that way and or bend it back that way all right showing off I'm gonna break half my glass because it's just sitting on top of instead of all right you can laugh I'll let you but don't laugh too loud or too hard I might have to dock your pay, right? Right. There we go. Just a little bit lower. Tilt this back just there we go. That's what it needed. That's what it was a little while ago. Now I'm going to try to do what I have been doing. But first I'm going to... Uh, You know what? My torch is backwards from what I'm used to because I put the the gas on this side and it should be on the other the air on that this side instead of the gas. But we're going to work with it and see what happens. Right, right, right. Now, first of all, I'm going to layer. I've been using like a turbo cobalt here. I'm gonna do some uh, wigwag inside out work. Not inside out, but wigwag work. But first I layer a nice dark base color behind it all. Like so. All the way around. This is nine heavy wall tubing that I'm layering this on. And this time I'm also going to be putting some UV reactive glass in with it. Why? Because I can. Now as I'm doing this, again, I'm using and heating up the color rod and just sort of layering it onto the clear rod where I do things if you have a question or want to talk to me just type it out in the chat room and I'll try to answer it we'll see what we can do there we go 
all the way around. And then I'm gonna, I've got a marver. Actually, it's a it's a big marble mold, but I can use it for marver on its side as well. Multitasking with one tool helps to make it worthwhile. It's worth. Now, I'm going to now add a layer of color to this and the colors that I want to layer to it. Uh, of course, I've tucked them in the back behind three other things instead of bringing them forward so that I could get to them easily. These little strands of color. This one's blue. And uh, we'll do we'll do a couple of different colors, but that blue has um, stardust in it, so it's sparkle and glitter as well as. So won't be able to see this until after. Maybe I'll even add this to the uh, the mix at where I put the uh, UV reactive stuff. around that general area. So again, this will uh, just come out sparkly glittery on top of the blue. Here's some white that will add a nice band to everything we have done. It's finding the, the blue ones that I just lined in and putting them next to it instead of on top of which is the fun part. Right, right? Right. Okay, now we're gonna put some, ooh, ooh, dark green, light green. <coughs> ah. I gotta remember where the new flame is. Just put my hand right through that thing. Let's put it over here so I don't have to do that anymore. I'm used to where the Carlisle flame is, and I wasn't paying attention, stupid me. We'll get there, though. Nothing terrible. We'll survive. It's one of those that the burn's going to hurt a lot worse later when you take a hot shower. We've got green, we've got white. Let's get an orange or a red. Let's see this red. Right next to the green. There we go. Yep, when you're used to parameters and you change those parameters, you got to get real uh, careful, and I was not careful. Sorry about that, folks. I'm okay, though. Still can move my hand. Singed it, but my hands are in a constant flux of healing anyway, so we'll get there. Now, what other colors do I have? I have orange, I have a light green, I have a purple, uh, let's see, let's do an, oh, well, let's go ahead and put the, uh, see if we can find it, let's see if we can find it, um, one of these, I believe. darn I gotta go get my UV lamp in the house I'll be right back hold on
Yep, yep. Here we go. I'm back. This will help me to make sure that I put the colors I want on here. Okay, there's some. You can see the colors sort of jumping out at me. Here's some Illuminati. Where's some of that Lucy? Okay, where's the Lucy? This one looks good. Let's try that. No, not quite. That's a different color all entire. Where is some of that Lucy? There it is. I believe I found the culprit. Dun, dun, dun. Now, we have this tubing lined with colors. And now I'm going to line it with some UV colors. And I can make the UV bands because they're clear a little wider than I would with the color. And I'm going to add clear, I mean the uh, Lucy and some Illuminati to it. This is the last couple of stripes I'm going to do with this. And last but not least, I believe, yeah, this was the, uh, let's check it. I believe this was the, uh, yep, that's the Illuminati. So I'll now just sort of put a few strands of this around the area. Making sure that <laughs> that's going to be the fun part. Since they're both clear going on, I can't really tell where the Lucy is compared to the Illuminati. But we'll play with it. There we go. That's enough of that. And let's put some clear over all of this. Layer in some clear. So where are you guys from? I'm over here on the eastern part of North Carolina trying to melt some glass and explain to people what I'm doing so that they can understand themselves. And now what I'm doing is layering another layer of clear over all of this tubing that I have done. And this is sort of um, encasing it all. I call this, what I'm doing now, the poor man's vac stack. Because A, you don't use tubing, and B, you are layering color inside and encasing. And yes, sometimes there are air lines and air bubbles in there, but it works. Right, right, right. Just keep going around with this. Around and around and around. This is a single flame, a number two tip for this uh, national. So it's a little bit different than 
the Carlisle, but it can get some job done. Don't don't uh, underestimate it. For the size of the torch and what you can do, you can get a lot done. And that's no lie. What I'm going to do now is just sort of layer it on. I mean, not layer it on, but um, flatten it down a little bit. go. I'm going to put a blow hose to this and stretch it out to about three times as long. Of course I've got 16,000 things on top of my blow hose. Come on, get out of there. Punte. Pinch off the crud. And now I'm going to start stretching it. It's hollow in there. I'm blowing it out just slightly. And now here we go stretching. Keep stretching. Got two people watching again. That's good. One popped out. Popped back in. Say hi if you want to. Talk to me. I try to work. I'm going to be making some wig wag stuff. It kind of looks dark at the moment, but once I let it cool, all of those, the red and the greens will show up again. I'm going to go to about half of this. No, actually, I'm going to go down to about a, just a third. Uh, well, not even that. About right there. I'm going to blow out the bottom, or blow out. Pull it apart. And then I could seal a tubing, piece of tubing to that end right there. But I'm going to work on this end right here. So I'm going to set that down for now and get to this. Now we're going to, whoops, uh, of course. Mm -hmm. I'm 
I'm so used to... Oh yeah, I gotta flip this torch. I'll do it afterwards, not right now. Right now I'm going to start pulling this out. And I'm gonna make two pieces out of this even. Keep being at hollow is going to be the fun part, but I know that that's happening. Okay, right about here. Blow it out again. That shows you two things. It's hollow all the way through that tube. And that uh, I'm controlling it pretty good. <laughs> Okay, one more plenty to add, or now we're going to start wigwagging this. First we're going to do a nice tight twist right there. Okay. Now start the wigwag. Now back the other way. Keep that going, back and forth. Just keeping track of where everything is is the fun part. condense all this into a bubble Looking good. Make a blowout right about there. Okay. go. Nip that off. And keep going. It's not a waste. That's going to be another one.
Let off. Half a dozen pair of tweezers around here. All I could find to do the quick job is, well, I can see them now, is a pair of wire cutters, but it does the job. Okay, now that I've done that fine detailed wig wag back and forth, we're gonna kick it up a notch. Oops, I forgot again. This is gonna get fun. That ought to be enough. Okay, now I'm gonna turn around and flatten this into a disc at the bottom of that. Looking good otherwise. things on top of everything else things and I did clean my table who knew right marvelous you can't see it dang it I'm gonna put a little bit of a lens on the top of this what the lens does is basically magnify what, what I've got there. And the lens is just by encasing it. And layering glass over the top. Getting the Maria big enough. And keep pressing it in. And let it flow over it. Almost there. I think that'll do it. I also pressed it inward while I was doing that, but good thing I've got. Ah, always gets itches when I. I always get itches when I get into some glass. spinning around and got some glass <laughs> in the way. Uh, yeah, this new torch has its uh, parameters I've got to get used to. I'm so used to the way things were, how high they were, where everything was, and now my uh, 
it's like getting a new car. You you don't know your outer lines where your car is, and you might bump into something when you get it new. Not intentionally. bit more than I wanted to, but that's okay. Hey, Divine. Didn't see you there until now. I'm sorry about that. I was busy playing with this thing. I don't know if you saw or not, but I got a new uh, torch stand that I'm trying out. I put the uh, thing on YouTube earlier today. Yeah. Swirls are coming out really good. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, I got burned a little earlier. I know. What did you hear about that? Huh? <laughs> Probably all over Twitch. Yeah, he just burned the living daylights on himself. <laughs> That's okay. Just a little, nothing terrible. I have often said, there'll be days that you'll cut yourself, and I call those days of blood sacrifice. And days that you'll burn yourself, and I call those days of burnt offerings. And if you cannot get over getting cut or getting burned, you're in the wrong business. The wrong business. The best thing about having glass blower hands is A, you can do dishes in hotter water than most people can put their hands in. And B, because of so many times I've been cut and burned. My hands, especially look at that, looks like a young kid's hand. The back a little bit more wrinkled, but look at the fingers, how they're not as wrinkled because they're in a constant flux of healing from getting cut, getting burned, and all that sort of stuff. Now, cold seal, gonna pull off the back here. Now those holes are not for a a um, they're just so that the air can vent out of the the back of this as I press it in so that I can press the air out without too much trouble. It's just one way that I, one method that I've started using. It's not the best method, but it does work. I got to now layer and some clear in that general area. It's a little right there. You can see it a little bit more red than the rest. And that's where the hole sort of widened more than I needed it to, but that's okay. Okay. 
I haven't decided whether I'm going to make this, uh, probably going to make this into a, sort of like an arrowhead shape. I've been making them not just round like everybody else does, but turning it into its own little point. That turned out really, really good. Tap it there. Hold it on here. Now, let's see here. We're going to stretch it lengthwise. And then we're going to add a color to the outside or parameter. Oh, looks like I've got to get a little bit of crud off the surface, but we'll get there. This would also make a great turtle shell. Matter of fact, you know what? <laughs> I said it, it's going to happen, Captain. Let's do that. Wig wag turtle. Wiggy wag turtle. Let's see, blue. Here we go, blue. A little bit of stress going on, but that's okay. His boro. It'll work its way out. On second thought, no, I'm gonna use green. Green it is. More of a green exotic. With the fins and tail. Yeah, a little bit more stress going on, but nothing terrible. Oh yeah, here we go. The fins, fold and pull. I like this, I'm glad you thought of it. Whoever thought of it, I'm glad you thought of it. Sea turtle wigwag, what a deal. Ah, yes. My worst W.C. Fields impression. The reason why W.C. Fields didn't drink water, because fish function in it. He said that in one of his movies. Now the head. I like where this is going, kids. I really do. Dark blue eyes. Now we got to put a bail on it. No, we'll, yeah, we'll put the bail on and then hold on to it by the plenty there. Okay. Bill starts right about here. Melt it around. Make the question mark and then just let gravity work for you. Oops. There we go.
Rima. Ooh, that's about to fall off the edge. That's not good. This is a moment. I like it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Plenty up here now. We're gonna round this back end just a little bit. It doesn't need to be that elongated. There we go. There we go. Glad to see somebody else join the crowd. Making a wigwag sea turtle. The wigwag reversal sea turtle. Now the green for the for the back fins and tail. And yes, I know I need to go put the tur the oven on. This is definitely one of those things that you don't want to lose. I guess I could try a DAPA next, right? <laughs> Mermaid's tail can be made out of wigwag. My whole mind is going wigwag. Or is that wonky wigwag? Who knows? <laughs> Mainly, main reason why is that I've been doing this for a long time, since 1982. And in the last, I'd say, five, ten years, I've really wanted to learn how to do this wigwag stuff. Really wanted to learn. But I didn't really, you know... But just the other day, I, I saw Harry Buchaka here on Twitch, demonstrate it. And it was like, whoa, it just fell into place on my, in my mind. Everything just sort of clicked. And I was able to make my own kind of music. Sing my own special song. I thank Jim. I haven't gone back, but I, I will repeatedly tell anybody who asks where I learned it from. I give credit. Whoop, I give credit where credit is due. And that's going in the oven. So we I'm going to do that right now. Well, actually, yeah. Going in the oven. Get in there. started yet, but it's in there now. Yeah, so do I. I try to give you that overview look so that you can see what's going on. I am uh, don't have a zoom lens ca camera yet, but we're going to get there. Now, I am having small difficulty, but not a big difficulty with the way I've got the torch set up. I set it up backwards, believe it or not. And you're saying, huh? <laughs> well, backwards in a sense that the gas is supposed to, on this torch, and I'm used to it, 
with the gas this way the gas on this side and the oxygen on the other side okay 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 now this is basically my lens holder or the uh, heat shield holder you almost got to be ambidextrous and, and then some to get this to be in the right place holding the right thing and twist it on there we go yeah I guess not let's try it one more time come on yeah tighten it down there we go get the heat shield in just sort of precariously perched upon a parapet of preposterous proportions but doable right right <laughs> okay Tilt it that way a little, and I think that's going to do it. Yeah, it was a nice turtle. Thank you. Um, I think that's the first animal I've actually made from the wigwag. Now I'm going to do one with a dolphin as the wigwag. Why? Because I can. That's why. Okay, let's keep this going. I've got all of the um, the tubing that I'm going to use for the wig wag already done. I that's not it. Here it is. Here's some some of it right here. And I had one that was a little smaller, but we're gonna we're gonna go with this one right now. And I need a little bit longer piece of tubing. Here we go. About halfway on that one. Scoring knife. Wet it. Score at six o'clock or twelve o'clock. Fingers at six o'clock and push away. You got two. They're not even because I didn't score them even, but still. You got two nice smooth edge that you can work with without too much trouble. Okay, first of all, now that I got these back at or the way they should be. I should be able to control them a whole lot better. Oh yeah. Having them backwards did not help my uh, dyslexia at all. When you're used to something one way and it goes a different way, it kind of goes, oh! Okay. Stretching my budget. Not really stretching, but putting that short one that I just had on the end of that. And now, and then and then and then and then, we're going to blow out the end and add some more tubing. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. 
Just two of them. I'm going to stretch this to about an inch, inch and a half tops. No, right about there. That's good. Not going to be big. Just going to be detailed. Blow it out there. A bug must have landed on, that's what singed it. I didn't see it, but it happened. Has have had to have happened because there it was. Okay. Now. It's been a nice tight weave there. Hone this down a little bit. You got a good view, I got a good view, that's all that matters. Now I'll start the wigwagging commencing. and con condense this stuff now yeah. that's what it's looking like blow a hole right about there Try to twist it off right here. up a notch or two. Flare it out. Behind it.
Okay, cap it off there. And round it all in. Clear it out and blow it in. fails you got to concentrate on what you're doing ignore the itch for a while but after a while <laughs> the itch gets to you yeah I didn't pull it off quite right down here at the bottom that's gonna be near the tail end of the dolphin anyway right right Let's go ahead and layer uh, the lens. Does add a little bit of magnification to it all. spot that's a little thicker than the rest. I'm trying to heat that up and there it went. A little bit better than what it was. the back. on the thin side.
that's better. One right here. I think that I was gonna do it. I usually try to put two, but I'm gonna try one and see what we can do. To collapse it. Just make sure it's going in that direction. Not starting there, but ending there. Looks like it's working. And it's done. Oh, I can see crabs coming out of this. I can see the design patterns. I mean, it's endless. Spiders, you know, the, uh, the main segment of the spider being this big wigwag thing going on. Sweet. My mind is uh, clicking away, as it were. Now I'm going to give this a, sort of like a banana shaped look. Why? Because I can. Flatten that a little bit. But the banana shape is basically the uh, shape of a, you know, instead of a sh dolphin. Oh, we're doing a shark. Dan and. Do the shark, I mean the dolphin next time. Using, um, let's see. I like the way that turned out. That turned out really, really nice. We're going to use the blue that exploded the last time, but we're going to use it again anyway. This is some moon blue or blue exotic, one of the two. Oops. I was paying attention to see if anybody said anything and attached it when I shouldn't have. That's okay. It'll all work out because I have to attach something in about that spot anyway. I always start at about the top dorsal fin. There's one. I'm going to add just a little bit more to this. Why? Because I can. You listen to it. You're your own worst critic, your own worst judge. Sometimes it's like, ah, go ahead. It's okay, leave it as is. And other times you listen and it, it comes out for the better. There's another itch. Yep, two dorsal fins at least. Well, the main dorsal and then a tinier one behind. Front fin.
colors came through to the other side not as bad not as but it's still what I, I'm looking for in other words it's still gonna look nice either side but there is a front side and a back side to this beggar Now the back pins. I'm not going to hang this. I'm just going to let this sit as a standing piece. I'll figure it out later if I want to make it into a pendant piece or something. But at the moment, it's going to stand by itself. Okay. Now the main back pins. They're pretty cool. Pretty easy. Practice, practice, and a little bit more practice. This will also glow under a black light because I have the Illuminati in here. Now the main spike back pin. There we go. Make sure that where you attach things like the pins that you do not let them that they are good seals all the way around that they are not two pieces of glass stuck together but they are going to be one piece of glass because right where you stick them together is where the stress can happen and break off at that spot so the better you make the seal to begin with the less chance of it stressing and cracking at that spot now I've got to do an eye. And I got to do a. Ay 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 ay. Here we go. Hold on to it at this end. Stay. Like talking to it's going to help any right. a blue eye or two blue eyes one on each side a little bit of lip where is that blue again there it is Last but not least, the gills. needs to cool a little bit but we got one shark with that sitting here doing two pieces I usually take a break I like it even yeah, yeah all right make me a liar it sits like that I'm gonna let that one cool and I'll put that one on Facebook after a little bit for people to see 
as always thanks for watching guys carpe vitro and enjoy your day